Hello dear viewers, in this video I'm going to create a simple brake roto part design using the Autodesk Inventor Professional. First of all we need the two dimensional skits at the plane. Then we have to design two circles starting from the center point, the origin. And the bigger circle should be 302 millimeters, that's the diameter, but you have to enter the radius. I'm going to divide this value uh, by 2. And we need one more circle, a smaller one. Um, we don't have information for the um, smaller circle, so I'm going to create a smaller circle with a radius smaller than this radius of the top uh, part. I'm exiting the sketch and I'm extruding uh, this profile for 12,4 millimeters. And now we have our first uh, 3D object, first solid. The next thing to do is to create uh, a new two-dimensional sketch using as plain the top of the um, extruded part and then uh, we have to create two more circles the first one should be the bigger one should be 182 millimeters uh, in diameter and the second circle starting from the uh, origin point should be coincident to the um, smaller circle from the last extrusion <coughs> so at this point I'm going to extrude uh, this profile for uh, 48 minus uh, 12,4 millimeters now we have to create one more uh, two-dimensional sketch at this uh, plane at the top in order to create the uh, wheel hub uh, hole and connect of course with the rest of our construction so the first circle should have a radius of uh, 50 millimeters and the bigger circle should be coincident to the smaller circle from the last uh, extrusion so this part I'm exiting the um, sketcher and I'm extruding this profile uh, at the opposite direction for let's say 10 millimeters okay and here we have uh, created our basic uh, geometry the next thing to do is to create uh, these six um, wheel stack holes for this reason I'm going to select the plane uh, the top plane of the um, roto and uh, create uh, a sketch uh, a circle uh, the center of this circle should be coincident to the uh, y-axis and the uh, radius of the circle we don't have relative information here so I'm going to create a um, 6 millimeter radius circle and now we need to position this um, this circle from the center so we need dimension from the center point to the center point of this circle this should be uh, the half of this um, 
length. So now we have uh, the right length and the right um, diameter of this circle. I can exit the sketcher and then extrude at the opposite direction until this face the hole should be should end should end here and okay <coughs> so now I uh, have to create five more holes but we can use the circular pattern um, function so first of all I have to select the To select the first hole, have to zoom a little bit. One hole, then the rotation axis, and then we need six um, holes, a total of six holes at uh, 360 degrees. So that's right. Um, okay, and then we have made six holes that's ready i can see here two more holes um two smaller one oh, we can create a new um two dimensional skits smaller circle let's say two millimeters radius and this should be uh, placed at a distance of of um, a half of this distance and we don't know the angle so I'm going to leave it at this angle it's the sketch and then I extrude one more time in the opposite direction and until in this face okay so we have a small hole and now I can use the circular pattern uh, feature in order to create a second one Something went wrong. I'm going to make it one more time. Circular pattern. I'm going to select only this. Uh, it's not working. So now and the rotation axis and then we need uh, just two of it 360 degrees okay so that's it and then we can add for example this point we can create a uh, chamfer, let's say two millimeters at 45 degrees. better and we can also for example round this area let's say five millimeters and actually we are ready with this design it's just a simple one um, 
we won't have any more information from this um, sketch so I'm going to rename this part um, and thank you for watching uh, my video if you like the video you can uh, su subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching